फॉर सिक्स टू एट आवर्स इसमें लक का इतना बड़ा फैक्टर है I'll do all the hard work. I remember Zakir Hussain's daughter, Priti Mundra, was one of the producers. 190 country, lovely experience. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to Box Office India. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. And I'm very <laughs> happy because we are in Kandala, in um, a house in Pune, and the sun has come out after many days of rain. So I'm feeling <laughs> very good. That's so nice. So how are these virtual interviews going on for you? Are you coping with it? Puchho mere dil pe. Puchho. A movie with all kinds of firsts. So how did you feel when you first saw the film? I was very overwhelmed and I cried a lot and I missed my father uh, very much because I kept thinking that this is a film that would have made him so 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 happy because all the hard work that he's done over so many years in this tiny village in Mijwa and Azamgarh yes. he could see it actually crystallizing all his dreams uh, crystallizing there and um, i genuinely think it is the best tribute that a son could pay his father Yeah, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Obviously, you're working with your brother also. He's debuting as a director. How was that experience? And how much were you of help to him? Because you, you know, come with the background, with the knowledge, so much knowledge of so many years. So, how was that helpful for him? Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid I can't take any credit for it because <laughs> it's entirely uh, Baba Azmi's doing, right from. Yeah. Um, Conceiving the idea, then getting it written uh, with this wonderful uh, writer Hussain Ali Mir, and then actualizing it on location in um, Mijwa, which was the tiny village in which my father Kafi Azmi was born. Now, I think it was very courageous of Baba to do that because, uh, in terms of the kind of infrastructure that is required to put up eighty people, that form a unit, yeah. that was. difficult but i think what uh, actually uh, made it work for him is the fact that he had um, you know interviewed a, and auditioned a lot of girls mm-hmm. in mumbai they were g- girls largely who had acted in uh, ad films and in films etc and although they had quite a few qualifications some were dancers some were good actors but baba kept feeling ke wo jo mitti ki khushboo hai yeah. wo yeah. nahi mil rahi he wanted the rawness of a girl brought and um, born and brought up in mijwa and um, so he selected aditi subedi after taking um, some auditions of hers etc and to think that this girl had never faced the camera in her life she had never done a step of bharatnatyam yeah. and she applied herself to it she came to mumbai for three months she practiced bharatnatyam every single day for 6 to 8 hours while her legs became like you know khambas it was so hard just a 15 year old girl and i mean there's a limit to how much you can put in it but she was very yeah. determined and for me what is lovely is that there is a parallel between the character that she's playing mariam who gets hell bent on doing Yeah. Herself, and here was Aditi, sort of reflecting exactly that parallel, because she wanted her father to be proud of her. She wanted the village to be proud of her. And today, she's become a role model for all of Mijwa and the nearby uh, villages. You know, they've just had lots of screenings in the mm-hmm. village, and her parents wow. are being are being felicitated. Her school has given her a scholarship for this final year. So oh, things nice. are. looking up for her yeah lovely that is so nice that is such a positive reward of a film that's that genuinely you know, you never know, happens I, you know for me what is most rewarding is of course the fact that it is a tribute to my father and it's been appreciated so greatly and that uh, so far aditi has uh, met with uh, so much appreciation but what yeah. the film does on a even more important level is gives hope to the young people in our country you know there's a lot of despair going around a lot of people with a lot of talent who are in the hinterlands who are in the back of beyond and they just don't know uh, how to uh, bring their ambition to fruition now aditi and her success story 
fuels them with hope and they feel that you know True. there is something they can do yeah. because our society we have to accept that uh, if you want to be a doctor or a, um, if you want to be a doctor or an engineer or in the IAS in the services etc everybody encourages you but the minute you want to take up something which has to do with art because it True. doesn't quantify into a regular job it's met with a lot of resistance even with the uh, most loving of parents because they feel very concerned ke isme luck ka itna bada factor hai ki kya hoga is bachche ka etc but in aditi's case she was very lucky that her father and her mother and her brother and her sister were all very supportive mm-hmm. of her that's so nice so actually that is very very much relevant what you said that when it comes to art people do not support like i have had experiences and i told my relatives that i want to do journalism a lot of my, of them said that you don't have that personality or you can't do it so that's a very nice message that you just put out that's so great so also uh, aditi when you first met her during the fashion designing show and then you got her to this do 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 this film what was your instruction that you gave her like what were the tips that you shared with her well i uh, aditi has always made an impression on me because i work in mijwa you know my father set up an mm-hmm. ngo there uh, called the mijwa welfare society which works for the yeah. empowered girl child and uh, women and i visit mijwa a lot three times a year actually and so i've seen her growing up now there was something so sparkling about her face that i remember as a 3 year old i just took a photo of her while she was sitting around the fireplace and she just turned around and uh, mm-hmm. looked at me and uh, i put that photograph of hers on my midwa welfare society brochure because she had these sparkling yeah. eyes it's so rewarding so <laughs> rewarding willing to put in all that was required for this because let me tell you one day she came up to me in 2017 and uh, she called me bua she said bua mujhe bhi mijwa uh, ke liye walk karna hai fashion show mein so that showed a certain confidence in her so i just told her she made a very deep connect with my brother with baba which was the way it should be but i just told her that it's not easy you have to work very hard you're going to be away from home for 3 months you're going to miss your parents you're going to miss your siblings it's going to be hard it's not all uh, wonderful because there's a lot of hard work and i remember so brightly her looking at me and said <laughs> i'll do all the hard work that is required of you <laughs> That's so nice. So obviously, ma'am, also with the new normal kicking in, and your film is also released on an OTT platform. A lot of actors have talked about the reaction that they get back. Like, if a film releases in a theater, you get a different reaction. But when it releases on OTT platform, which is happening a lot now, the di- reactions are different. What would you want to say about that? See, I have always moved with the times, and I would like to remind you that it was almost about. 15 years ago that i did a film in los angeles called waterborn which from the word go was made to be released on google so i all my friends around me and said what a waste of your time and how can you actually go yeah. and live so in uh, uh, in and, and it was really being made almost like like with by students you know and i remember zakir hussain's daughter was one of the ads on it then uh, jagmohan mundra's daughter smriti mundra was one of the producers ben breaky was uh, the director and i said well this is the way forward and we have to seize uh, the opportunity wow. so when yeah. this has come i think that um, what the ott platform is offering is uh, is an awareness that content is the star content is king mm-hmm. giving an opportunity to um, interesting stories that don't have to cater to the lowest common denominator that can function even without stars and uh, i don't think that it will ever completely wipe away the big screen experience because i mean that's something else True. an movie lover i would not want it to disappear also but i think all these avenues opening up uh people are really consuming content on their phone on their cell phone and what that should do is reinvent the way content is written and uh, that's why i think uh, 
you know uh, had me raksham been released had a theatrical release it would have had a limited theatrical uh, release yeah. because they just wouldn't have the money to uh, promote it uh, in the way that is required for a film that is uh, yeah. you know the story and without stars etc although of course they said in chai is a star but um, <laughs> Yeah. and now i'm getting all these excited calls from uh, my friends and from my relatives saying my god it's showing in 190 countries at the same time and so we are feeling so thrilled that we can watch it uh, with you so yeah. uh, that hi that's a big hi yeah that that's that's really nice that's a nice way to look at it also when we mentioned nasruddin sir you have worked on with him on a lot of films now you are working as a presenter of a film so what was your rap with him on the set well i wanted him to be very comfortable i wanted all my actors to be uh, very comfortable the whole crew to be uh, very comfortable it was um, it was reassuring because a lot of them were from theater and when you are in the theater then you are used to roughing it out you know you are used to uh, redefining luxury so he had no tantrums no demands nothing nasir um, actually stayed in our house in the village he had a bad yeah. back before he was coming but he made that long journey and he was so warm and you know i think he uh, because he likes kafi sabs poetry for many years he is also a great admirer of my mother shaukat kafi has always said that actually shaukat apa is a better actor than <laughs> but, uh, yeah he uh, like everybody else in the film they they just embraced the experience of working in this uh, little village and it to me was like being in theater there was no hierarchy because somebody who was facing the camera was then running around to get some uh, uh, something for the set then was uh, running around to get tea for somebody you know so it was a very lovely lovely experience thank you nice. <laughs> nice okay my last question for you ma'am because the audience has become smart now and o- there are ott platforms there are social media platforms people have opinion so when you're making a film like this it has religion involved or little politics involved so how do you make sure that you're not clashing with someone's opinion or you're not throwing it out like some your opinions on tv how do you as a presenter you know want, want to keep that in mind well uh, if you ask baba this baba keeps saying that for him the most important thing was that he was telling a human story that to him was important and that this was being told almost in a lyrical way and was being true to the medium of cinema because if it had become very strident if it had taken strong political um, uh, uh, sides then then it could be propaganda it wouldn't be a film so he and really because his whole business is to deal with images because mm-hmm. of his being director of photography so he has told the story and he has said it in a manner where he's not shrill because even the strength that he exhibits in front of the obscurant stir i should say it is with a certain what we call in urdu lehaz you know he doesn't raise his voice he doesn't have clarity yeah. i he says that with a uh, with with a decency which is uh, which is the crux of his character so for me what is most important about it it, it, it is not the obscurantism that you see in one religion it's in all religions you see i mean you yeah. see uh, the the other guy and he has exactly the same opinion because fundamentals are really mirror images of each other and so what actually it points out to is a world view a world view that is uh, that is that embraces pluralism that is tolerant that is accepting that is liberal that's what we're saying against a world view which is obscurantist and fundamentalist mm. and exclusive so uh, that is the point that i think comes across uh, very very beautifully in the film i agree with that and that was the i think the usp of the film that's what would that's what making people watch the film so yeah i think that was very well put 
on that note thank you so much for your time it was lovely talking to you and i hope love to talk to you in person as well take care lots of love thank you thank you ma'am bye 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 bye